everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make the bass for your edits. After picking up my clips, I'm marking the beats using the symbol on the right. Then I'm moving my clips to fit each beat. After doing so, I'm going to highlight all of my clips and I'm going to enable frame blending, making sure that it's a second option. Now I'm going to pre-compose my first clip, picking the second bullet point. Having done so, I'm going to insert Twixter Pro, which controls the speed of your clip. Now that I have Twixter Pro in my clip, I'm going to go to the start of the clip and I'm going to make a keyframe at around 150. Next, I'm going to move my cursor to the middle of the clip and I'm going to make a keyframe of around 60. The lower the number, the slower your clip will go. Now I'm going to pick my first keyframe and I'm going to copy and paste it onto the end of my clip. Now that I have three keyframes, I'm going to highlight the keyframes and I'm going to go to Keyframe Assistant and press Easy Ease. Then I'm going to go into Graph Editor. motion weighted blend. Now I'm going to insert S Blomo curves. First I'm changing the center to her face, making sure that you do this with every clip. Then I'm moving my cursor to the beginning of the clip and I'm making a keyframe at the start at just one and then I'm moving to the end of the clip and I'm zooming in by making a keyframe at about 0.6 but this depends on how zoomed in your clip already is. Now that I have two keyframes, I'm going to highlight them and click Easy Ease and then go into Graph Editor where you can play around with a graph making it look similar to mine. Insert brightness and contrast. I'm going to make a keyframe at the start at around 40, and then I'm going to go to the end and put it to zero. This creates a subtle flash effect. Now I'm going to insert BCC lens blur, and I'm starting at around 10, but you can play around with this, and I'm, I make a keyframe at the beginning. And then I'm going to go to the end and I'm make, going to make a keyframe at zero. And then you can copy my graph. Make sure that to be able to use the graph properly, you always easy ease your keyframes first. Now you have a subtle blur effect on top of your flash. Next, I'm going to make an opacity keyframe and just reduce the opacity at the end so I can have a little fade out. And I'm also going to easy ease these keyframes and I'm going to go into graph and I'm going to make a uh, out graph. This is finished, I'm going to pre-compose all of my other clips and I'm going to copy all of the keyframes I've already made. This saves a lot of time as you edit. After having copied all of my keyframes, I'm going to pick alternate clips and I'm going to time reverse the zooms so that I have one clip that is zooming out and one clip that is zooming in.
basically done so this is usually the process that i go through when i make all of my edits and now you know how to make your first kind of base edit before you add any effects and glitches and so on and thank you so much for watching i hope it was useful and i look forward to making more tutorials